Hey, it's Lala and you're watching Lala Tarot. Today we're going to be doing the top five 2022 tarot decks. So I'm really excited to bring you guys this video and have you guys just see all of the decks that were just amazing to me this year in 2022. The decks that really just blew me away that I felt had amazing artwork, amazing guidebooks, great um boxes and things like that you know things that really stood out to me this year so i just want to show you guys my top five i'm really interested in seeing your top five if you are to make a video recording just letting us know what are your top five tarot decks for 2022 so let's go ahead and get started my number five deck is called the awaken tarot this one just really kind of just came out of nowhere to be honest with you um i Got this one off of Amazon for like $16. And then they had a 5% off discount after that. And I'm just looking like, how beautiful is this? It's like a Rider Waite Smith clone. And it's just really, really gorgeous. Um, to be honest with you, I love the softness of the deck. I love um I love the images. I do. I love that the inside has this little like goldish. Border. I don't know if you guys are able to kind of see that, but I love that it has that goldish border. And even though it's a Rider Waite Smith clone and it's a very affordable deck, it just has that quality to it. This one feels like it has a lot of quality and it has a lot of um, diversity. The people have different skin tones and it really just puts a beautiful twist on um, on this deck and on the Rider Waite Smith style. There are... Um, same sex lovers card i believe or anti um interracial couples here for the lover lovers card and i think there's also um same sex in this deck as well so i love that it's very inclusive and this one just kind of shocked me and came out of nowhere um and just end up being a really really great buy so that's called the awaken tarot and that's my number five all right my number four tarot deck from 2022 it's called the guardian of the night tarot and it's really gorgeous i love the backs of them are really pretty it has this beautiful bumblebee on there and <laughs> look how pretty that is it's just got animals in it and beautiful beautiful artwork that i think is just really adorable um I love that. I love the feel of this deck. I also think this would be a good winter deck as well, just from the energy of it. And I just think that it's really gorgeous and I love the artwork and I love working with the animals. So that's my number four um, deck and that's called The Guardian of the Night Tarot. And my number three, I chose the Sufi Tarot for my number three deck. Um, I just think this one is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the backs of them. Look at how much detail is just put into it. And this is a Hay House deck, so it has amazing, amazing quality. It feels like this quality and this card stock will just last you forever. It's really thick. Um, and it's just beautiful. It has lovely, lovely um, artwork. And yeah, I love it. I love it. I think that it has oh look how gorgeous she is and it's easy to read i thought this would be hard to read when i first um before i got it because the majors have different you know the names have been changed um but it has the numbers on there number three so it's easy to recall you know number three correlates with the empress card so it's easy to kind of just recall what it's going to be um and translate it and Everything has changed, really. The court cards are changed. The minors are changed to staffs. The court cards are changed to, like, daughters. The kings are changed to shahs. Um, pages are daughters. Kings are shahs. So a lot of, there's a lot of things about this deck that are really different. And I thought that would make it complicated for me to read it. But it's really not complicated to read at all. It's very easy to read. And I think that the artwork is really just beautiful and so that is why the sufi tarot is my number three and for number two i chose the radiant wild tarot so it has a really really big box that's kind of hard to see a little bit but 
um it has it's just really beautiful it has this really high frequency to it it's an orange card with um a little bit of like yellow in there as well and it has gold gilding on the edges that i just i think it's really super nice and i i love it i love it it's a high frequency deck and that's pretty much what i can say about it um when you use this deck your i don't know your you are you have to kind of change how you see things in order to interpret the message that is trying to give you you it this deck is so um it's just profound it's really really deep and it takes a lot of thought to really get into the depth of what the card is really saying so i really enjoy the challenge of reading this deck and i love that when i do read this deck correctly um it leaves me in a very high frequency so that's one of the things that i love about the radiant wilds tarot and that is my number two for 2022 <laughs> and the number one deck that i chose for 2022 this is my number one and i just had to because it was so 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 fun that is the Trick or Treat Tarot. That is my number one deck for this year, 2022. I think it's just a really, really fun deck. It's been edged in green on my end. Um, and I love that. I think that it's very playful. It's very, um, it has that sense of where they feel to it as well. Like if you're looking for that, um, but it's really, really playful and it's really, really fun. And it takes you back to like high school or, you know, it's really good. Even for bringing out like your inner child to come out and play. Um, I like it. I like it. It's got a little bit of ghosts and goblins and, you know, it's got all of that. It's got the costume parties and you can really feel that they're preparing for this big day and for Halloween to come and everybody's dressed up and, it's really, really fun. So <laughs> I can't say anything else about it, but I do enjoy this one. So this is my number one deck of 2022. All right, guys. So there you have it. I just gave you guys my top five tarot decks for 2022. I will be back to also comment on the oracles that I really love this year um, because I couldn't put those all in one video. Um, I wanted to give myself a little bit of time to kind of think about what oracles do I, do I think are just the best of the year. Um, so I'm happy, you know, I'm happy to get that out to you guys soon and I'm hoping that you guys also make a video and let me know what were your favorites this year you just saw my top five favorites for 2022 and let me know below like do you have these decks do you want these decks what do you think would you put these in your top five just kind of let me know leave me a comment below and i'll see you guys in my next video peace